Finding a tenant for your rental property can seem daunting, but a rental application form is a useful tool that allows you to gather crucial information for background checks. They provide insights into an applicant's criminal, eviction, and credit history, ensuring you make an informed decision. Hi everyone, I'm your host, Andrew Chung. In this video, we'll dive into the central topic of the Alabama rental application form. If you're a property owner looking to rent out your property, you know how vital a rental application form is. This document is crucial for gathering relevant background information about a potential tenant. It helps with screening, ensuring that your property ends up in the hands of a responsible tenant. But what exactly should you include in your Alabama rental application form? Let's break it down. The purpose of a rental application form is to gather information about the applicant and provide certain disclosures related to rules and the property's condition. So firstly, let's talk about obtaining information from the potential tenant. This will include personal information, details about employment and income, rental history, credit history, personal references, and of course, the signature granting you, the landlord, permission to conduct a credit check. Next, there are mandatory disclosures. These could be about the state of the property, rental control rules, details about fees, smoking and pet rules, any health or safety hazards, shared utility arrangements, and requirements for the security deposit and monthly rent. So now that we know this, there are items you should not include in your rental application. These items fall under the Fair Housing Act, which makes it illegal to discriminate against potential tenants. These include sex, color, age, disability, religion, nationality, familial status, and race. Alabama law comes with its unique specifics as well. For example, there's no limit on the rental application fee you can charge, but only one month's rent can be charged as a security deposit with a few exceptions. Now, once you've collected the application, what's next? That's right, it's time for background checks. With the applicant's consent, you can perform a criminal history check, credit check, and an eviction search. Now, remember that written consent for these checks must be obtained according to the Federal Credit Reporting Act. This consent can either be included as a section in the application or through a separate document. Sometimes you may have to take an adverse action, like rejecting an application or requesting a higher deposit. If so, remember to provide the applicant with an adverse action notice, which essentially explains why their application was rejected. Okay, so now you know what to include in your application, but how do you create one? You can build your own, use a free form, or edit a template with DoorLoop, which simplifies the whole process. With DoorLoop, you can create personalized forms in no time. You can download the residential application form by clicking on the link in the description below. Now, let's address some frequently asked questions. Number one, do applicants need to provide information about the rental history in a rental application? Yes, applicants should provide rental history. Number two, what are some protected classes that are exceptions to the Fair Housing Act? Certain age-restricted facilities, private clubs, and religious organizations are exempt from the Fair Housing Act, which means you can request this information in a lease application. Number three, is there a limit on the amount landlords can charge for security deposits? Yes, security deposits are capped at one month's rent. Creating an Alabama rental application form is straightforward with DoorLoop. For an all-in-one solution to manage properties, run checks, receive payments, and list properties for rent, check out DoorLoop today. Well, that's it for this video. If you want more real estate content for your business, make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more DoorLoop videos, such as how and when to issue a notice of abandonment, and can your property be managed with AI and automation. Remember to like this video, share it, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.